music um, within the collegiate and chapel Hill community. Um, we are really excited to present what we have prepared for you today, so I hope you enjoy it. Um, the first segment of our performance will be a Indian classical dance performance, um, and then the second half will be a sampling of a Carnatic Indian classical music concert. Uh, I'm going to present a very brief introduction to Bharatanatyam, which is the classical Indian form dance form of India. Um, and just to get an idea, this is kind of like the ballet of the East um, regarding its posture, technique, and form. Um, how many of you have seen Indian classical dance before? Okay, um, so not too many, so I'll give you a little bit um, of background. Bharatanatyam originated 2,000 years ago in the South Indian state of Tamil Nadu. Um, it is explained in the Natya Shastra, written by Sage Bharata, and is considered the fifth Veda. Um, it is a dance form that combines movement, mind, and music, divided between ritta, which is pure dance, ritya, which is expressional composition, and natya, a combination of all the elements to convey a story. Just to give you an idea of how like, intricate this dance form is, there are 21 ways just to move the head and eyes alone, 10 ways to stand, 10 ways to walk, and 52 hand gestures. In addition, dancers must have a good grasp of nine human emotions called the Navarasa, which include love, mirth, heroism, anger, fear, disgust, wonder, compassion, and tranquility. To put it into a musical context, Bharatanatyam coexists with Carnatic music, which you will hear later, um, as the lyrics and vocal percussion sounds are essential to the dance form. I will be presenting two pieces that are characteristic of a traditional Bharatanatyam performance. As you will notice with Indian classical dance and music, all uh, concerts and repertoire follow a similar structure. Um, so the first piece that I will present is an invocation item that will be performed at the beginning of a dance recital. Before I begin, you will see that I will seek permission of Mother Earth to dance upon her. This song praises Lord Ganesha, the elephant god, and describes his cheerful dancing. The dancer explains his elephant form with one tusk. All of the gods and goddesses pray to him, and the dancer asks that he bless her as well and the performance. This song is called Ananda Nartana Ganapatim, which means the joyous dance of Ganesha, and is a Nate Raga and Adi Dala. Um, Raga and Dalam, Raga is the tune that is set to the musical composition, and the Dalam is the cycle that follows, and Adi Dalam is the cycle of eight beats. Um, this dance is choreographed by my teacher, Dr. Mahalo. 